guys welcome back to my channel my name is emily and today i have my march tbr for you this is the second time i'm filling these clips because apparently when i filmed the first time on my phone instead of hitting video i hit slow mo so the beginning of it's okay but then it goes slow the rest of the way through so here we are again take two um so I'm just gonna get right into it. I go into the rules real quick in my game when I get to the parts where I'm rolling. So let's just jump right into that. So here's my board. It's all set up. I've got my little owl that I got from Disney World and this will be my playing piece. I've got my two six-sided dice. Uh, one smaller than the other, but it was all I could find. So I'm just rolling with it. No pun intended. I will be rolling five times. If I get any doubles, I will add one roll onto it for each double. Um, if I make it to the end of the board, I will just start over and continue on. Um, I think that's everything. So let us get into roll number one. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One word. So our first prompt was one word, and I can use this as one word title, or I can maybe look up a generator for words and come up with one word and pick a book based on that one word, but today I think I'm just going to go with the one word title. So I'm going to go with Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueco. I've heard really good things about this book. Um, I think it's about a girl who, I don't know if it's her mother, her aunt, um, gets her to try and kill someone and the person she's trying to kill I think she ends up falling in love with and that's all I really know about it um that's all I really want to know about that I'm not going to go too in depth into these books because I'm doing a bunch of videos for a good portion of them so I'll talk later about these books and those so moving on to rule number two rule number two One, two, three, four, five, six. Multiple POVs. So rule number two brought us multiple POVs. And for this, I'm going to be reading They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. This is a mystery thriller. Normally, I would go for a fantasy for this kind of prompt. But I figured out that this book has, I think, two POVs. So we're going with it. All I know is that this is like a female serial killer or female murderer and she murders one guy a year who's pretty much not a good guy so that's all I know and then I think there's something with a like a student wants revenge on someone so there is that so there are two point of views so I'm going to count it rule number three eleven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Dark cover. Our next prompt is dark cover. And for this one, I went with Project Hail Mary. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I've heard great things about the audiobook. So that is how I want to read this book. And all I know is that it's set in space. I think the astronaut um, forgets everything or like loses his memory or something. And I think there might be first contact with aliens. Not sure, but I am super hyped for this book. Rule number four. A double, so we will be adding an extra roll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mixed reviews. For our third roll, we did get a double. <laughs> so now there will be six rolls instead of five it's okay <laughs> um but for this one we did get mixed reviews and this is just like it says a book that has mixed reviews people like it people don't like it for this one i thought a safe bet to go with was sea of ruin by pam godwin and that is because this is kind of a darker romance and those usually have mixed reviews depending on what you like in your romances I like dark romances. I've heard good things, obviously, and bad things about this book, but the good things are outweighing the bad for me anyway. So I think this has to deal with pirates and a girl, and I think there is a love triangle, which I do not like. I'm not a fan of love triangles, but I'm willing to give this book a chance because it does sound really good. Rule number five. Eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big book, over 500 pages. Next, we got Big Book, a book over 500 pages. And so for this one, if I do not finish Mad Ship in February, which I have about a week and a half left, so I still can. I haven't started it yet. It's over 800 pages. Um, but if I don't read this this month, then it'll definitely count for next month. But if I do, I'd like to finish out that series and read Ship of Destiny again over or almost 800 pages, like 700 something. So either way, they both count. These are book two and three in the Live Ship Trader series by Robin Hobb. I read the first one um, at the beginning of February and I absolutely loved it. It was so good. Robin Hobb writes characters so well and... I just love the stories she takes us on and how like immersive you feel and how connected you feel to the characters and are constantly like rooting them on or hating them. You know, there are some that I hate in this series, <laughs> but I am really happy to finally be getting to the series because I'm really trying to catch up to Becca and the Books' um, live shows for the last trilogy of Fitz. So fingers crossed I can do that, but... Anyway, one of these two books will definitely count for this prompt. And what is hopefully our sixth and final roll? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A reread. This could be fun. And finally, our sixth and final roll brought us a reread. And for that, I'm going to go easy and reread The Titan's Curse. I have the first and second one. Um, that I'm going to be reading before February is over, so they shouldn't take too long. But I'm listening to them through the audiobooks this time, and I'm getting them out for my library, so when they come in, I want to read them. And this one should be coming, like, the beginning of March, so this will go for that. These are pretty quick and easy, and I just... I just need something easy to put on this TBR, because there are some chunky books on here. <laughs> So those were all the rolls, but I have a couple other ones that I want to add on. I do have two secret TBR videos that I would like to get up this month. Fingers crossed that I can. So there are other books for that, but are, there are ones that I want to mention here that are not on those that I would still like to read. And the first one being the fourth book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympians is The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. And again, the audiobook should be coming out about the same time as The Titan's Curse, so I can get to this one. This shouldn't be hard. Like, they're super quick and easy and fun to get into. So, these will help spread out the different books throughout my TBR month. The last two books I have, I only have the first one with me right now. The second one should be coming in the mail today, but I couldn't wait to film this video. But the first one is Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, and then House of Sky and Breath. By Sarah J Maas too. These are pretty chunky books uh, but I'm so excited to get to these. I have not yet read this book. I've avoided spoilers at all costs this whole entire time but it's time. I'm happy to finally be getting to this book. I'm I'm just so excited like I am trash for Miss Mass. Anything she writes I will read. I am currently finishing up A Court of Silver Flames. Uh, I should finish that today. Um, and I'm loving it, uh, but I really want to get into her new series before I get spoiled because it's bound to happen. I don't know how it hasn't happened yet, but it probably will if I don't get onto the series soon. So I'm happy to have this and then jump right into the second one, and I will be listening to these on audiobook as well to kind of break up my reading month, and so yeah, I'm really excited to get to these. But that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed my new TBR game, TBR Tiles. And thanks again to Covers with Cassidy for being my inspiration for that game. If you haven't seen my introduction to the game, I will leave it linked down below. I should have said it at the beginning of this video, but again, I didn't. Of course, I am refilming this. So this video is just a little bit of a hot mess, I feel like. Maybe not. I don't know. But that is all I have for you today. So like this video if you liked it. Comment down below telling me what your reading plans are for March. Subscribe if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye!